Well, welcome to Bettering Our Community. My name's Tiffany Dunyon, host, and today I'm privileged to have with me TJ Moonen, a new independent producer, talking about his show, Practicing Love. TJ, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about who you are? Sure. Um, well, I'm a dairy resident. I've lived here for a quarter of a century. Um, many people know me as uh, the overnight guy. I work overnights uh, at a convenience store in town and been doing that for 10 years. Um, uh, I've been uh, working on um, r family law reform for near two decades now. And uh, this is a new venture for me in that effort. Um, I found a way to uh, get the word out on the, the corruption that's going on uh, with our government and the family law, law system. And uh, I'm just basically here to educate American citizens uh, throughout the country on uh, the that's, corruption. Uh, that's, that's quite a topic. Um, I can tell it means a lot to you, especially when you said you've been studying for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. The reason behind that is I have a 25-year-old daughter that I haven't seen for 13 years now and uh, been fighting to get back in her life and working hard and it's, I've run into so many different roadblocks. I've been fighting it from the outside and through this show I want to try to fight it from the inside, get to the family law system and uh, get the change made. There are thousands and thousands of people throughout the country who are all fighting for this and uh, we don't have a voice. We, won't be, we can't be heard so I'm hoping that this will open up that door and give people the voice they need. That's excellent. It sounds like it's some great information that you're very passionate about. Um, so can you tell us more about your show for the layperson that has absolutely no idea? Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell them about your upcoming show? What's it about? Well, um, it's basically the format's going to be basically a talk show. And um, I'll have guests on who are very knowledgeable in the, um, in the movement that's going on. Uh, there are many different movements, father's rights, children's rights, uh, parents' rights, you know, so many different uh, movements. And I want to give them all a chance to share their message. And the thing is, we're all going, each group is going about it in their way, um, but they're all going about it the same way. They're all going after the same goal. So I want to ex expedite the, the process and give them the chance to uh, express how they're doing it and what the final goal is for each of us, which is a uh, complete reformation of the family law system in our country. I see. So it sounds like you're going to cover quite a broad spectrum um, in terms of father's rights. Mm -hmm. um, so can you tell us a little bit about why this is so important to you? What makes this topic so special? Well, it's been, like I said, the, the experience with my daughter has been my primary purpose and um, what I found in my, in my fight over the last 20 years is for the first 18 years or so I was basically doing it myself. I couldn't afford a lawyer and you know the whole process was convoluted to me. So um, family courts uh, took advantage of that and you know I didn't stand a chance. My ex-wife had an attorney and I didn't. So, um, I've been fighting it alone, and I've had made some progress, but not much. And um, I found some friends on Facebook throughout the country and the world, really. This is a worldwide epidemic, um, who all have the same passion I do. And um, they're all hitting the same walls I am. So we're working together throughout the country to uh, get this information out there. And this is something that's been passionate to my passion for like I said, 20 years, and I'm not going to stop. You know, I'm hoping this is a, makes a big dent in it, and I hope eventually we'll get the, the law changed, but um, at least get the word out there and get knowledge out to the American citizens about how they're being, their rights are being uh, violated. So when you say getting the law changed, do you have specific measures that you're wanting to change in the favor of um, parents, of families, of fathers? Well, yeah, there are greater minds than I working on different bills and laws uh, for the Reformation. But uh, basically what it is is the family courts are given what's called special incentives from our government um, where they're... they're um, rewarded for 
collecting child support. Now, um, any, any family court official will tell you that um, the process of family law is to do what's in the best interest of the child. And uh, you hear that phrase all the time. It's not the case. Their, their, in, their best interest is the dollar. And um, the investigations by you know, TCYF and all these other agencies for the family court are not going to go anywhere because it's all about the money. It's not about the kids. There are so many children who, who don't have their both parents in their lives. And we're, we're all fighting for co-parenting. If a, if a family, a couple divorces and they have children, the children can't be part of their, uh, their anger towards each other. Right. So. so it sounds like you're fighting for an equality so that children can have access to both healthy parents and exactly. there can be laws that support maybe more of a modern day mm -hmm. outlook on right. that instead of something yeah. that's And it's not less. just fathers. There, I think I know more women who are affected by this uh, sure. from ex-spouses. So it's, it's a real bad situation for the children mainly. Right. You know, that's the bottom line. Well, it sounds like it's a, a very important subject matter. I was going to ask you next, uh, the demographic you're looking to reach, but it sounds like it very well could be anybody who has a family member or who has been through a situation of mm -hmm. divorce or co-parenting, um, knowing what your rights are if you pursue a route of splitting up or just understanding that, is that correct? Yeah, that's it. And um, I've been getting re a remarkable response. And wh when customers come in the store and they you know, I tell them the information, just my, just little bits and pieces of it. You know, jaws hit the floor. It's incredible the corruption that's going on that nobody knows about because it's the laws are so convoluted, and so it's it's difficult to understand. And who has the time to read 800 pages of legal information to get the the facts? Right. So it's that's what we're doing here is getting those facts out and. You know, we've, we've gone through the, the 800 pages and found the, the discrepancies and the violations. So you're making it more palpable for the layperson to understand. Right. And right. making that more accessible. Mm -hmm. so Without having to go to law school, you can, we can teach a, as much as we can. Well, that's, that's very helpful. <laughs> that's Practicing very helpful. love. That's what Practicing we're doing. love. Can you speak to uh, the title? So why did you choose Practicing Love well, as the title? Um, I've been angry for 20 years and it's gotten me nowhere. So over the last couple of years I've been trying to focus more on getting outside of myself and giving and uh, I work hard to help other people, especially other parents who have been tormented as I have for ex different periods of time. And there are so many people who are just going through the process now, the whole family law process. And I'm no longer involved with the family courts because all the issues are cleared up, you know, the child support's paid, the, you know. Sure. It's, it's, she's 25 years old, it's not necessary for them to be there anymore. Um, but there are so many people who are going through the process. And the knowledge I have is um, hindsight, but I learned so much uh, going to law libraries and uh, investigating how to do things and the legal ease. Everything I learned, I learned too late for my case. but. I can help others and there are so many others just like me who have gone through it and are still going through it and absolutely um, something happened the other night one of our uh, one of our members of our our group um, passed away and he is a victim of family court the family court and the family law um, he's been uh, kept from his children for years he had a radio show he was doing he's very passionate about it and uh, he, his death is directly due to the family courts that um, destroyed his life and his children's lives. The children are the ones that suffer the most um, because they grow up with a false sense of identity. Right. You know, and because I'm, my daughter's a victim of false allegations and uh, there are many others like that. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be discussing that topic as well as um, uh, adoption and foster care is a big one, sure. uh, which is covered in um, the Social Security Act, Title IV-E. 
uh, that's very are. it is very interesting how that's covered under the Social Security Act and you really wouldn't think that it would be mm -hmm. so for those watching your show um, I'm sure that will be very interesting to get into more of the depth and breadth yeah. of what that entails mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us more about the type of guests that you're going to feature to help um, spread the word yeah mainly um, other targeted parents uh, that have been on and children that have been reunited with with parents uh, ha after years um, I'll have uh, I'm, pl I'm hoping to have the head of the father's rights movement on um, there are different movements I'm trying to get the leaders from every group to come on in some way I mean uh, the man who runs father's the father's rights movement is in Alaska so I don't I won't be able to fly him in here but you know we can do a video feed and he can, and he, I want to have people in who know more than I do about the law. Right. I know a lot about the process as far as the letter of the law. Um, I'm not as knowledgeable as many others out there. And these are the people that I want as guests so that the viewing public can um, call them with questions or uh, tweet us a question or Facebook us a, a question. So it'll be interactive so yeah. people can call in and ask questions because mm -hmm. I'm sure the it sounds like the material you have is very thought-provoking mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like you've gotten quite a response as well. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have uh, legal experts on as well? I hope to, yes, absolutely. Um, there's, it's hard because um, the legal experts are all part of the system so they're all getting the incentive too whether they know it or not. Um, Unless they've perhaps been through it so you're looking for people that have a vested interest. Mm -hmm. And there are many. I, um, I have a few friends who are lawyers who have uh, gone through this and are going through it. Uh, it's amazing. Every time I talk to somebody new about it, they say, yeah, my cousin's in the same situation. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable how many people are affected by this, and the children especially. That's the bottom line. Well, it sounds like it's great information that you're looking to make available to the public, and it, it definitely is a subject matter that affects a wide demographic, if not everybody, <laughs> yeah. in some capacity or another, indirectly or directly. Mm -hmm. um, anything else that we should know about your show? Yeah, well, uh, we're going to be doing, uh, it's, we're going to be trying to be a little more eclectic than just having the uh, family law discussion. Um, I want to focus on dairy as well and, and the citizens of dairy and the issues they have because they bring them to me. Um, it's another situation where this is a case, uh, an opportunity for people who in the city to get their voice out to the government, the dairy government and you know, any changes. Make it better. Yeah. Is yeah. that how you're hoping to benefit the community through the mm -hmm. message? Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I, I want to do some fun stuff too. Uh, I'm very passionate about sports and uh, I'm friends with a couple of the football coaches at Pinkerton. So perhaps one night we'll do a, a sports show and um, uh, m music is another one. Who knows? We'll, we're gonna we're gonna spread out as much as possible. But every every episode will have a, a a segment at least you know on family law because that is the uh, primary purpose of it. And what I want to get across most with the show is just practice love. If we all pra if everyone practices love, we all win. Nobody loses. You know? so have you found through the years that the positive trumps the negative? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. You know, and um, I post a lot of stuff and I tweet a lot of stuff, and you know, people will make fun of me. You know, he's a girl, stuff like that. But you know what? I've tried it every every way I can, and and it hasn't worked. And you know, love seems to work. You know, when you reach out and help someone, you know, they they're touched more than you'll ever know. You know, you touch people just by smiling, you know, it can change someone's day. It really is amazing what love can do. And we need to tap into that power. It's not there. This country, everyone in this country is so angry about so many different things. Yes, you know, I, I think it's evident. <laughs> and if you go about it with love, it's, it's not going to be that difficult. You know, you seek, my thing, the biggest, my, my favorite saying is, if you focus on the problem, the problem gets bigger. If you focus on the solution, the problem goes away. Right, what you put energy towards expands, so you're yeah. wanting to expand towards uh, the way of a solution. Right, right. Seek out the solution and you're not bothered as much by the problem. And then the problem goes away. It really does. That sounds like uh, quite, it sounds like absolutely quite a, an important topic that dairy as well as 
you know, the United States and really everybody could use more information and knowledge about. So mm -hmm. that's wonderful you're coming at it from a positive, because um, I think you've stated nicely, love. Yeah, that's what it is. I see all these protests and demonstrations and all, all it is is white noise, you know. It's, let's, let's go at it from the way the, our forefathers showed us. You know, they wrote us, they wrote us a script on you know, what our rights are and how to protect ourselves with those rights. And nobody knows it. You know, and granted, it's been over many, uh, 250, 300 years since right. it's been written, but um, it's there, and it's there for us to use, and nobody does. It's easier just to go to the courthouse and hold up signs, you know. Read the, read the fine print. See that, see that your um, Fourth, Eighth, Ninth Amendment rights are being violated, you know, and, and it truly is if you read the letter of the law. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a brief example. When I was going through um, the process, the family court process, I was I had trouble many times over the years with paying the child support. Got into arrears. Um, when that happened, the family courts um, basically convicted me of of it. Uh, at one point, I lost my license. One at a time, I had to go to community service because of this. Now, the problem with that is. I was convicted basically of a crime and I wasn't given due process like I'm entitled to in the Constitution. You know, I wasn't, I didn't get a jury trial, I didn't get representation. In family court, if you can't afford a lawyer, you can't have one, there's none appointed for you. Yet they're trying me uh, criminally in the family court. So the family court just has a little bit too much um, flexibility and uh, ability to take advantage so and it is happening. Definitely something that you feel is out of balance with mm -hmm. that equation. Yes, okay. entirely. That's the problem. Everything, nothing is as it, as it seems. You know. Well, it sounds like very, very intriguing subject matter and very relevant as well. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us when you're starting your shows? When can we plan to see them? Well, we're going to start um, filming at the end of the month, hopefully, and uh, we hope to have a debut on Valentine's Day. What you know, what better day to the debut practicing, practicing love, love than uh -huh. Valentine's Day? Um, but in the beginning, the first few shows are going to be trial and error. You know, we're going to work our way through the kinks. Sure. And um, my daughter, um, April is a big month for what what we call paternal alienation, uh, where children are alienated from their parents. Uh, there's many a movement on it. And um, it's Parental Alienation Month, so I want to focus on doing uh, a really big debut in April, uh, one date in specific, and I'll get into that when we when we start the show. But um, it's very important to me in that particular date. So um, I want to have a show with uh, as many um, dignitaries or, or you know people of greater knowledge than me either here or through video to just have a celebration of us moving forward as a, as a big debut in April. So uh, I'm really excited about this. I mean, I've been off the wall for a couple of months since I first talked to Owen about it and it's, it's really great. And I'm very grateful to D uh, Dairy TV for giving me this opportunity and allowing me to reach out and help others. You know, even the, my production staff uh, Joel Rubin's going to be my technical director, and uh, this is all new to all of us, so it's it's a learning process. Um, another kid, Christian Fitzgerald, he's going to be um, he's uh, just out of high school, uh, a kid looking for a direction, and I figure this will give him a chance to learn something, put something on his resume going forward. Um, the other guy, there's another man, Mark, who's uh, out of work for about six weeks and uh, he's going to come and help out with the process. And then my friend Chuck Tamian is going to be uh, kind of a do-it-all kind of runner guy for us. And We're all going to learn something new and we're all going to start to change the world. Well, I think that's what it's, what it's all about and mm -hmm. getting your, your message out. Yep. So how can people contact you if they'd like to be on your show? Well, um, you can reach me. Uh, through Facebook, Facebook or Twitter. Uh, on Facebook, I'm TJ Moonen, um, and on Twitter, I'm at Tom Moonen. Um, oh, we'll have those graphics up 
when we're doing the show, but um, I should have given them to Owen Sorry, earlier. We gotcha. But um, <laughs> uh, on my Facebook page is a, my cell phone number. You can call and text anytime with questions. Uh, I'm open to anything. You can reach me at work. I work overnights, so you know, I can answer the phone. <laughs> you're there, whatever it takes, especially if someone's hurting. If you're hurting and you need someone to talk to, God, suicide is so difficult, especially with the holidays. Um, and you don't have to. There is a solution, you know, and, and we're here for you. And uh, there are links on um, the Practicing Love pages on Twitter and Facebook uh, to get that help, to get help uh, when um, you need something. Do you have a Facebook page for Practicing Love? Yes, I do, okay. and it's been very successful. Um, what is that? Gotten, do you know the address? It's just Practicing Love on Facebook. Just uh, Facebook.com slash Practicing, practicing love. love. Yeah, okay. that's how they do it, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, very good, TJ. Thank you so much for sharing with us about mm -hmm. your show, and it sounds like it's very relevant. Excellent. I'm, I'm hoping to get a lot of response and uh, get some people aware and you know, make the changes necessary so that um, our children and their children's children and their children's children don't have to deal with this. This is you know, for, for tomorrow's kids and families. The, the foundation of our country is the American family and it's being destroyed by our government. So it needs to be acknowledged and changed. Well, sounds like you have a very positive message for families for uh, bolstering and, and rebuilding that, and bringing things hope. more into balance. So yep. TJ, thank you so much for being thank with you, us Tiffany. today. For bettering our community, my name's Tiffany Denyon. Thank you so very much for watching.